wants to be me Cause what I feel Hi everyone Hey It's Macy And Larry From Big Happy Love And we wanted to share a topic tonight around When you're playing games in dating Because there's often community Hi There's communication challenges that happen Like that then do you know if you're playing a game or not? Are you playing games? Should you play games? What kind of games should... Hi! <laughs> I can see you this time, be bliss. Um, anyway, so we just wanted to talk about that because some people keep asking us, like, you know, sh when should I call someone after a date? Or, like, should I wait a couple days? Should I wait a week? What should I do? And um, truly... It's about paying attention to what it is that you really feel. I actually don't believe that you need to play any games in the communication. I mean, ultimately, if you want a meaningful, long-term relationship, then this is the time to be willing to stand in that truth and communicate your needs and if it's not received or then that's okay because mm -hmm. we can siphon out those people who don't match us yeah. what do you think about that dating games well we were talking about that one i mean you see it in the movies you see it on tv i've heard friends that are dating online say that oh no you can't you can't just call her that night or you gotta wait two days you don't want to be des you don't want to look desperate and that's just ridiculous. Okay. If you enjoyed the visit, if you enjoyed the date, call call her up and say, hey, I had a great, or call him up and say, I had a great time. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again. Just being authentic, being yourself, and not worrying about, oh, is she going to think I'm this or that? It's like, just do what feels right. So how do you know if you're playing a game or not? Like, how do you know if you're in that cycle of playing a game? It, you can tell. It feels yucky. It doesn't feel like you're authentic. It, does, it feels like you're, you're, it's just you're being inauthentic. You're not being truthful. You're not being honest. To me, it's feeling like you're afraid that they're either going to go away, not like you, um, reject you like there's all those kind of fears of mm -hmm. being rejected that come along with that and so my advice to people is that you determine it based on are you coming from love are you coming from your true self or are you responding and deciding to take action based on fear or deciding not to take action based on fear. I think it's more that you are scared to call because you're afraid that you're going to look desperate or afraid that you're right. going to scare right. them away right. or something. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's not, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I'm no one, no playing games. They assume that this is like a malicious thing. And maybe it's just more about insecurities that maybe you're not wanting to call them back right away or something like that, just out of your own insecurity and yeah. fear. So maybe it might end up appearing that you're playing game, but you're just nervous or scared. Right. So I guess you can have compassion both ways. So it's deciding how are you responding, either, either out of fear or out of love in your response, and really doing what you want to do. Because if you're coming from love, then you're safe. I mean, if someone doesn't like you, they don't like you, and that's okay. And for me, well, the things that I really liked to do, because it felt good to me, was if I had a good date with someone, I was willing to write and say, hey, I had a really good time. And whether you're keeping them or not, it doesn't matter. It's like, you know, are you willing to say those things that may seem vulnerable, like, calling them up and saying, thank you so much, I had a great time at dinner. Why not? I think that's mm -hmm. really good. It made me feel good to do that, even though I know I probably had some fear around, 
well, maybe they didn't like me, but ultimately you have to use yourself mm -hmm. as the, the measure. I think that was the key right there was being, having the, the, being open to being vulnerable. Yeah. And not mm -hmm. being worried, oh, how are they going to interpret this? Or are they going to think this or that? Just don't worry about that. If you're, if you're authentic and you're being vulnerable, you're just putting it out there. You have no control how, how, how they may or may not interpret it. Right, right. So, so here's the thing. If you're dating... And you go on a first, I think this happens early in the dates. If you're, if you're going on a date and you feel that you, ha that you want to share something with someone and you're coming from your heart, then do that because that's the truth of who you are. And if they don't respond or if it doesn't seem like if, if they run away or whatever, it doesn't matter. I mean, ultimately you want to be so true to yourself that you repel people and you draw people in if you're kind of in between and you're not you're consistently not sure what to do or you need to ask your friends you know their advice all the time then it's important to start learning how can I tune into me more fully so that I am creating the kind of relationships that really match me. And ultimately that's how you can get to meeting, you know, someone who really is awesome in your life. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah. So be open, be willing to be you because you're the one that your divine person is looking for. So you have to be you and be able to share who you are by saying, you know, I had a great time or you know what, I'm not feeling it. It goes both ways. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid to thank someone and say you enjoyed their company because who doesn't love hearing that? So I hope that was helpful. Any other words? I think the more you can be yourself, the more you're going to keep it fun and not feel stressed out because you're trying to be something you're not. Yeah. <clears throat> or stressed out because you're trying to tell them what you think they want to hear instead of just doing it from, from your heart. Mm -hmm. And that, that's where it stays fun, I think. So the only game is to play the game of you. So Ooh. you get to just be you. Sweet. All right. Bye. Bye. See you later.